Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna to share a video with you of how we made my daughter's Valentine's Day box for her class party this year. I'm also gonna make some other Valentine's Day boxes that are a little bit easier, all from some supplies that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna make those separate videos just so they're not so long and I can separate the supplies that you're gonna need for each one of those projects as well. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the supplies that we use. So I found this box at a UPS store. Um, I needed that size. I also used some of these little tower game wood blocks, some of the wood pile from um, Hobby Lobby. I got these rectangles. I got the smaller rectangle pieces. I also got the smaller ones to use as the feet. And then I got um, a set of these candlesticks to use for the vault. And then I was able to get these little um, felt self-adhesive stars. I used some foam blocks to make the pads. And then I also used some decorative ribbon, a couple different colors of felt. I also used the sticky uh, craft felt and some of this fix all adhesive. I found some of these little um, American flags, some floral tape, and then I used these long um, wooden pieces. I got these also at Hobby Lobby. I got two different uh, square sizes and one round one to use for the uneven bars, and I just cut those into sizes. So then I also got some of these favor surprises, the little um, trophies. I needed some foam board. I used some contact paper, some um, scissors, an X-Acto knife, a ruler, a hot glue gun, and then I also used some paint, a paintbrush, and some of this um, floral twine, and then I used some um, ribbon, stickers, gemstones, some wrapping paper, toy metals, some white sports tape or white construction paper, and then you will need some brads to attach the gym floor to the box as well as the walls. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was I measured out the, the box, and this is going to be the gym floor. So I just drew around the box and then using a razor blade and a ruler, I cut down the sides of the foam board and then just snapped that off. So this is where I'm going to build the whole entire gym floor and then we're just going to attach it to the box. It's just way easier to do it this way and so that's why I chose to use it that way. So then I had this wood grain contact paper I used to cover the board. This is just for the actual outside trim to make it look like a floor and I did use white sports tape to actually make the um, gym floor in the center of this foam board. So once I have the um, contact paper all cut out, I just cut it down to size and then wrapped it around the edges of the box. And then once that was done, we just set that aside because I'm actually going to um, work out my floor plan here of how everything is going to go. So what I did is I took that paper that I cut that I pulled off the back of that contact paper. It actually has a grid on it. So I cut that to size and then using some painter's tape, I just taped that down to the gym floor and then drew out where all of the pieces to the gym equipment was going to go so we could do a complete gym floor along with an awards little um, podium. So using these um, Jenga tower blocks from Dollar Tree, I glued these together with hot glue and fix all adhesive and then wrapped them up with some tape to hold them while they dried and that's going to be our podium. So then using the ruler and the sticky um, blue felt, I cut out the gym floor and put that where that would go. And so I'm not actually sticking this down. I'm just cutting it to size and laying out, out where everything's going to go. So I just made a mat or a rug for the uneven bars and now I'm making the carpet here for the vault run and that's gonna go over here on the far edge and then I cut another mat out or carpet out to use for under the balance beam. So now I'm measuring out the pieces for the balance beam, the uneven bars. I just laid them on my grid that I had made where I kind of made them all down to size and then laid those all out once I cut them to size. So now I'm gonna cut some foam block and these are actually going to be the um, safety cushions that they put underneath of all the gym equipment. So I just used the foam and a knife and I cut those into slices almost like you're slicing cheese. And then just using the hot glue gun, I completely covered those with the felt 
to make the little mats that go underneath of the gym equipment and so I made one for each of those um, gym equipment you know pieces for each event and then I set those aside and then we needed to make some springboards so I decided to cover those in red felt just to make them look different than the pads so I just cut like a little wedge and then I cut I made two of those and set those aside. So now we're going to work on the balance beam. So the balance beams are always covered in like this brown suede. So I'm using this felt to cut and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue that around the top and the both edges and then the ends of the balance beam to make it look a little bit more official. So we had a lot of fun building this. My daughter would come home from school and she would help. And so it took us almost two weeks to build this board because with the drying time and her being at school and gymnastics, it took a long time. So now I just cut the legs and the little support beams and glued those on with the fix-all adhesive and the hot glue to hold those in place. So what I did is I eventually painted these and I used that floral tape to um, tape around the um, corners and the feet of all this equipment to help hold it together. And you're gonna see a little bit of that here. So when I'm making the uneven bars, I glued it together and then I used that floral tape since it's sticky and I taped the corners. And then I used a little bit of this bow twine that you can find at any craft store for about a dollar or two. And I made the little supports that tie the uneven bars together and hold those to the ground. So now using some of the sports tape I just cut it down to size and trimmed the floor, the gym floor, and then I painted the podium gold, silver, and bronze, and then covered those in some glitter. And after I put the sports tape down on the actual floor that I'm using now, I'm actually gluing these all into place. So these are the sticky felt, so I just pulled the back off of those and stuck all of the carpets down. And then I started gluing all of the mats and springboards into place next so this is the vault table that i made out of the candlestick and some of the square um, little rectangle i'm sorry the rectangle wooden pieces that i bought and then i'm going to put this mat in the back of there and then our balance beam goes over this mat and i glued that into place and then i finished gluing all the uneven bars into place as well so then i measured out the sides for um, the backdrop of the box and then i cut not all the way through, but just enough that I could fold the sides over and then use the tape to secure that into place. So once I have everything placed, I wrap the box in some wrapping paper and then cut a hole for the mailbox. Then I stuck these uh, the floor onto the box and the walls around the side and I just used the long brads to stick the floor on and the walls on all the way through the box. And then I made these little um, Olympic rings. I got this dream mirror from the Dollar Tree and the stickers and I decorated all the way around to make it look like an official gym. And then we even found some of these lights we had left over from the 4th of July that we picked up at the Dollar Tree and then decorated the outside walls with some ribbon, some fake little um, gold medals, some rhinestones and uh, the ribbon and things that we found from Dollar Tree that just we had in our craft supply. So we had so much fun making this box. Okay, and that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We had a lot of fun making it together. And it's kind of, um, you know, bittersweet. We have one more year left of elementary school with her. So we have one box left to make. So I'm excited to see what we come up with next year. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Here are some other videos you might also enjoy. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.